Hi, I'm Justine from Babes on the Run and this is Vanessa. Vanessa's going to be doing a high impact workout for you today. We're doing a, a bit of a focus on, on lower body. We're getting your heart rate right up. We're going to be working glutes, hamstrings, whole legs actually. So what I want you to do is to work hard and fast. We're going to be doing intervals. So you're going to get a work period and a rest period. Use your rest period to get your heart rate back down. We're going to get straight into it. Let's warm up. I'm going to leave you with Vanessa. I'm going to be off the side calling instructions. Just doing some light little squats to warm up. It's really important that if you're going to go in and use an area that you warm it up so the body knows what it's going to be doing and you don't end up injured. Nothing worse than when you're on a program, uh, you, you've got a, a resolution to get fit, uh, to get moving and then you end up sidelined because you're injured. So spend a bit of time now doing that. Okay, I'm gonna swap it through. Next one. Just doing some little lunges here, just warming up legs. If you can't do a big full one, you can just do a little lunge, just do a little half pulse if you need to. Just keeping it moving. That's the way. Just getting the body used, into, used to the fact that it's going to be uh, working today. We're going to be doing some dynamic stuff. The work that you're going to be doing today is going to be doing 20 seconds on and then 10 second rest and I'll be cueing you to breathe properly. Here we go, butt kick it up. Just getting the heart moving. Saying hey there big fella, let's go. Nice and easy, light landings with your feet. All right. Good, keep breathing. All right. Okay, we are going to get straight into it today. First one we're going to do is plie squat, starting on toes. I'm starting the timer, let's go. We've got 20 seconds here. The reason we want to start on the toes is we're going to get a little bit more activation through calves. It's very important to use these as well. They're a very small muscle group. If you're having an issue with your balance, you can put your heels down on the ground, rebalance, come back up again. 10 second break. We're staying on this one exercise for the three minutes. Gives you plenty of time to practice. Okay, rest is over. Let's squat again. And you can hear the timer going off in the background. It's going to give you three warning beeps towards the end of your work set and your rest set so that you can prepare for the next, uh, for the next set. Okay, keeping it going. All right, we're in rest. With your squats, make sure your feet are slightly wider than hip width apart. Toes are pointed out about 45 degrees. When you're squatting, please don't uh, curve out through your back. What you want to do is be able to maintain neutral spine by pivoting back through that, uh, those hips a little bit because we don't want to put the pressure all through your lower back. Fantastic. So you'll see that Vanessa's fairly straight, but she hasn't got a big lumbar curve, which is that bit right where your butt turns into your back. She's squeezing her backside at the top, lowering down, squeezing at the bottom to come back up. All right. You're in set number four out of six. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> She's still smiling. All right, rest again. When you've got your rest periods, breathe out, take a deep breath in, reset, relax, make sure you're in a good position, good alignment. Come back down, we're starting again. Well done. Should feel these calves and the backs of the legs starting to, to really burn in quads, using everything together. Okay, two, one, and rest. Last set coming up, okay? And then you don't have to do these bad boys again. Ready? And go again. All right. Breathing, maintaining control. So even as you get into the last set, make sure your technique is perfect. Modify as you need. Three, two, one, you're done. We're going into frog. Now frog, 
Here we go. And go. So with the frog, you can see Vanessa's just leaning into her elbows there. She's squeezing her backside and pushing up and back through those heels to get these glutes activated. What I want you to focus on is that if you've got a weaker side and a stronger side, that they're working together, keep pushing it up and back. It's a small movement, core comes on, keep everything activated. You don't want to get a big curve in your back. Vanessa's constantly resetting her shoulders and relax. Okay, and we're going to have a break just for one sec. Sorry, the, the thingy has stopped working. That's exciting. Blooper number one and go again. We'll do an extra set for um, good luck. That was me approximating then. Don't email me and tell me I was wrong. Keep it coming. Keep pushing it up. Oh, that's the sound we've all grown used to knowing and loving. Taking a deep breath in. Relax, reset and go. So with these little exercises that we do with smaller muscle groups, like we're not doing as much jumping around, what we're working on is the activation. So don't just let it switch off, but lower it off. So keep your glute working for as much of the set as you possibly can. And you're pushing up. See Vanessa's lifting her knees up off the floor there, pushing, relaxing, and now she's not. You're also getting some work through hamstrings too. Working on controlling, we're away again. Okay, pushing it up. Trying to keep upper body as relaxed as possible. Easier said than done. Easier from my position than yours. Nice and light. Good. So to keep it working for the whole set, you don't switch all the way off. You just keep it on a little bit so you don't deactivate. So you want to keep those muscles a little bit activated for that whole 20 seconds. It's not a long time. That's the way. You're already five seconds down. Okay. Keep it going because you're halfway through. Now you're more than halfway through. So don't drop out of the set. Keep it working. That's done. It's exciting. So Vanessa's having a wriggle because it's starting to build up through there. Hammies are working, firing away. And that's perfectly fine because what you're doing is getting the blood flow back into that area. Good. So you should be feeling this now so you don't have to make it really high jumpity jumpity to make it work. Vanessa's already done this workout this morning. Relax. Got 10 less than 10 seconds. Wriggle if you need to. Reset, making sure body's in neutral. We're getting ready to go again. You're away. That's away. Lift, squeeze. Make sure they're both going together. That your weak side isn't isn't lagging behind your strong side. Keep them coming together. 10 second break. If memory serves, we've still got one more. I think that's correct. No, it's not. Reset. Come on up, people. We're going to do, actually don't, we're doing the Superman variation. Please stay where you are. No cause for alarm. So this is a variation. You're still on tummy. Um, okay, we're away. We're going out to the sides, hands out to the sides and down. Legs marry with arms. So, core is on. Relax the shoulders down as much as you can. So what you want to do is set scapula here, which is your shoulder blade. Relax it down. You set your scapula. Keep it in position. Use underneath the armpits, lower back. Make sure they're all stabilizing as well as core. Lifting up, out back and down. Good. So once again, we're using glutes. We did say that there was going to be some glute work today, right? It wasn't false advertising. Keeping it up. This can be a little bit of pressure on tummies. So I guess you don't have a big drink of water in between sets with this one. Keep it nice and light. Relax shoulders down. 
set and activate through those shoulders. Lift and go, well done. Fantastic. So we're bringing it out, in and down. Back to the start, out, in, down. The hardest thing is to, when you're getting tired is to, to keep the shoulders out of your ears. That's the way. So now you're going to reset for me. Well done. Two and one. Let's go. Up. That's the way. Relaxing down the shoulders. Good. So you still have to use your back and your shoulders, but what we want to do is not try to use too many traps, which is the ones that come right above your neck there. Yep. You've got five seconds left to rest. Core on, activate, let's go. So feet should be, and leg thighs should come right up off the ground, giving those the butt, butt a big squeeze. The other thing you need to, add to, to be aware of, when you're doing this movement, glutes come on first, then hamstrings, and then lower back. So you, if you're feeling any pull in your lower back, you, you've got your activation in the wrong order. So really focus in on making sure it's glutes coming on. Glutes are squeezed and then you use the hamstrings and then the lower back. Okay. Coming up to the last set. All right. So give it everything. Don't stop this one. We're coming up after this one. We're getting up off the floor. It's been a nice little pre-exhaustion exercise for when you do your full body work. And relax. We're going to reset. That was it. Coming up, we're going to do some side lunges with the knee. What I want you to be very aware of, we're going to start and now. All right. Your heel needs to stay behind your toe. So I often see this with the 45 degrees. We need to really drive back with the glute, sit right back into that heel. Because what you're going to do is drive it up with the heel and the glute. Relax. You're going to stay on the same side? We're going to stay on the same side. That's a bit mean, isn't it? Oh, wow. That's awesome. Come on down and up. Heel comes down, keeping that toe in front of the heel. So you're landing. Heel first, if you can. Well done. Sitting right back. You can vary this by not dropping in and out. You can just stay with your heel on the ground. But today, we're not going to. So there's always a modification, taking a deep breath, relaxing and go. This is the third set. Good. So you can see Vanessa's got a bit of a sweat worked up already. This is a, a lot more intensity. So really focus in. Breathe it out at the bottom. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push it up. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Push it up. It's done. Fantastic. We're going to the other side now. That didn't sound good, did it? <laughs> Not that other side, just the other leg. Nice and easy. Bringing that knee right up. Good, keeping shoulders relaxed. Drive it up. So what you're doing is pushing up through the heel, squeeze the glute, squeeze the back of the leg to make that happen. Keep it going, breathe out. In, out. Good. So Vanessa, when it comes to those three beeps, doesn't use those three beeps to slow down. She uses them to get out a few more. She knows how many seconds she's got left. Good. So she doesn't stop when the finishing line is sight. She bumps a little bit harder. Keeping it going. There's only one more set after this bad boy. Good. Keep focused because we're coming up for a break shortly. All right, one more. It's a bit, a bit mean actually to say that 10 seconds is a break, isn't it? It's more of a reset to catch your breath. So when you're feeling breathless, especially with these ones, when you get to the top, you breathe all the air out of your lungs so that you can take a deep breath in. That's going to help to keep your heart rate nice and low. Come on, push and drive it up. 
We're done. We're going to do one more set, people, and then we're having a break. We're doing some crisscrosses. Oh, that's just telling me that set's over. Let's go. So, hands are behind your body, making sure that you've lifted those hips up off the ground, cross the leg, bringing it out, pointing it in front. So if it was on a clock, you're coming out to two o'clock. Open up the toe, pointing it right out, and sitting it down, nice and easy. All right, the so weight is through wrists here, so making sure you have a break if you need it. Cross legs, you're away. So the timer doesn't tell you at the number three that you need to get set up in position. It's three, two, one, getting into position and then going. Opening up, keeping body as steady as you can, keeping the glute activated on the leg that is on the floor. Pushing through the heel. Three, two, one. Relaxing it down. Okay, take a deep breath. Reset everything, relax shoulders, getting into position, getting ready to go. It's work time now, go, go. So, making sure everything is as stable as you can make it. Keeping the control in, Vanessa's not rushing it through. There's no mad movement, they're very controlled. This is the third set on this side and then we're going to be changing. Well done. Reset shoulders if you need to, you've got time. Babes on the floor. Go. All right. That's nice and easy. Toe out to the side. That could be blooper number two. Setting a new record. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Vanessa has OCD with her tidiness. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't be able to leave it. Legs open and back. Good, so making sure glutes are on, squeeze through that heel. And you'll notice that Vanessa's weight is not through her toe here. Okay, so you can see that better from this side. And she's keeping that knee over the foot. All right, so she's not dropping that leg in. And strong. Okay, and keeping the control in that foot when you're opening out, trying not to thump it on the ground, keeping it nice and soft. Getting ready to work. Well done. Good. How are you going with these? These are um, a lot harder than they look. So this is a lot more control work that you're getting today. This is very nice. Three, two, and one. That's it, that's exciting. We're gonna have a break. We're gonna see you in a minute. Vanessa's gonna towel down. Yep. See you in a few. Hi, welcome back. We're back from break. We need you to get one thing for us. We need you to get a ball. Doesn't need to be very big if you've got kids probably got them. If you don't have one for this workout, that's fine, we'll do it next one. Onto the floor, we're going to get started straight away. I'm just going to be setting the timer. Ready? We're doing, kind of pop that feet. Now, this is one, there's one quick little setup. One thing that you want to make sure of, if your ball is this big, your feet need to be narrower. Narrower, narrower, because you're going to be squeezing the ball, but what we don't want you to do is squeeze into this. What we want you to do is squeeze into this. We're going to activate inner thigh. Hang on, I'll reset that. Ready, ready, ready. Let's go now. All right, so this is a bridge. You must keep that squeeze on. You're coming up to the top and you're not letting it go. You're coming into a nice straight line. Glutes are squeezed. When you have the ball in between your legs as well, rest, rest, rest. If you're getting any of this movement, is your stronger side taking over from your weaker side again. What we want to do is make sure that you keep that as steady as possible so you don't get that. Push through your heels, activate through the hamstrings. Very nice. And inner thighs are working. And once these inner thighs are activated, you will also be able to feel it all through the lower abdominals as well. And hamstrings are working too, aren't they? Everything's working. Yep. So it's all working together and that's what we want. Rest time exciting. So there are a couple of the things that I want you to watch for. 
If you um, aren't feeling much stability in this position, you can always revert to this position. If this is really, really easy, you can even bring your hands up above so you've got less stability. So you can vary these, these exercises depending on your ability as well. You can also like weight the hip area if you want to. If you want to. If you, if you want more of a challenge. Nearly there, come on up. I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm gonna stop my nagging now. Okay, we've got a couple more seconds with rest. And go. Okay, so this is active rest. We are having a rest from some of the, the bigger muscle groups that we were doing before because we're going back into doing some bigger muscle groups in a minute. But what we're doing is while we're resting, is we're still working. And that's why it can be an oxymoron. Ready? Work time again. Look at it go. So what you're doing is you're squeezing on at the top. And what I don't want you to do is let go of the glute. So what you want to do is use the glute to lower you down. So you have control of it and then you're going to give it a good squeeze at the bottom to come back up to the top. You've only got one set left after this. Time flies when you're having fun. It also flies when you're not having fun. It just flies. Good. This is an awesome workout for making sure that you, you're activating all through the posterior chain. So all the backs of your legs. And that's a really important thing to do. If you're not really good at some of these exercises, then it's a surefire sign that you actually need to do them. If you're finding this is burning and you're struggling to finish the set, then you need to be doing more of these. All right, we're going into the next one. We're coming up to a lunge kick. Get yourself up, ready? Let's go, start now. So, stepping back into the lunge and up. I'm just gonna come into shot for a second so you'll see a random girl. Sometimes with lunges, I see clients cheating these through by not actually bending the knee, by just stepping back. What you want to make sure is you're bending the knee to come down. Good. If you want more balance, you have your feet wider apart in the shot or in the, when you're doing it, that's absolutely acceptable. If you want more of a challenge, you walk the tightrope. Making sure when you're anchoring with the foot, the front foot that you've got on here, Big toe, small toe, left heel, right heel. Pull up through the arch, so make your feet do some work as well. If you find you're wobbling, it's not your ankle, it's your foot stability, more likely. We've got one more set on there. Fantastic. Bodies up. And we stayed on that same set for the three, and then we're gonna swap again. When I say we, it's the royal we, of course. Keeping it through. So what I'm watching for Vanessa and when I'm watching my clients, what I'm watching to see is this beautiful right angle as she's coming down. There's a right angle with the front foot and there's a right angle with the back foot. That's perfect. If you find it hard to do this from a standing position, you can start this set on the ground. So Vanessa's starting up top, which most people do with lunges, but if you want to find the right position, you can actually start the same thing on the floor, making sure body's upright and you just come up and do it instead and don't go all the way down. Sorry, did I put you off your mojo? Gosh, it's hard to work in these conditions. I'll disappear again. Keeping heel on the ground. It's a bit eerie, this one, isn't it? Heel on the ground of that front foot. And I just walked into a boxing bag leaving. Good. It's a small studio. Okay. And you'll find when you're doing this that you have one leg that's much harder than the other. So that's a really important leg. Sometimes if, that, if you find that's the case, that's the leg you need to start on. So that's going to set the pace for what you should be doing with your stronger side. When you're pushing up, use the heel. Keeping it nice and steady. All right. You've got one more. Look how excited she is. That's it. Good. Keeping it up. Nice and strong. You find that you're getting a little bit more tired now, so this is when you have a tendency to lose balance, get a bit more tired. Great. And one of my favourite exercises coming up onto all fours. 
We're just gonna do a little bit of a variation of a fire hydrant. This, yeah, that'll do you. Leg is right out to the side. Start now. We're gonna lift it off the floor. Come up onto hands. That's the way. Keeping body in alignment. There we go. Try not to rest that toe too much. What we want to do is bring it up. If you find that you can't get your leg all the way forward here like the hand, then don't, don't panic. Bring your leg as far forward as you can. In some people who have impingements and problems with their hips, bringing their leg right forward like this can actually cause a bit of pain. Just bring it back till you don't get that pain. What I want you to focus on is making sure that you're getting this squeeze. Try not to rest for too long. Here, shall I help you? <laughs> yeah, that's a harder variation, yes? Because we're getting more out. And we're really getting that squeeze right in deep through the glutes. And this is a fantastic little one. Try and keep body as straight as you can and rest. Oh, it was fun, wasn't it? It's nice having that. Reset, taking a deep breath in. You'll find that this does get quite painful. That's good, that's what you want. Well, that's what I want for you. I'm disappearing again. That's the way. There you go, so keeping it lifted. Oh, I think I heard a moan. It's harder than it looks. She's dripping, people. That's how exciting it is. Go. And that's fantastic. So, Sweat is a, is a response to your body getting nice and hot. If you sweat a lot, it means you have an effective cooling system. It's a great thing. We've only got a couple more exercises to do. Oh no, that's a lie. We've only got one more after this. And it's a doozy. Two more sets. You always finish with the good ones, don't you? She likes to finish strong. So this again, we would call this active rest. We just talked about that. So you're still continuing to work these muscles. Glutes are one of the strongest muscles in our group, that, in our body. That's what's going to help keep you upright. It's really important if you sit down all day every day that you work them. So doing these kinds of workouts where you're working muscles that might be a little bit weaker, perfect. One more. Look at the panic. Just one. I know, it's the joy of doing. And we're ready to go into position. Go, go, go. Keeping it light, squeezing it up. Keeping your body as straight on the tendency with this one is to, to, to curve the body and to twist the body around. So be aware of the cheats, be aware of what your body is doing so that you can get the most out of this exercise. You've got three, two, and one. Holy guacamole. You can't complain to me because this is yours. She's going to do it like a, a, okay, we're going to call this wide squats with scissors. Is there a little bit of jumping? Do you want to just show us one before I start the timer? You're going to squat, touch the ground, scissors. Forward, back. Ready? Don't do too many. Starting now. Side, touch the ground. When you're doing any, any type of jumping, the work is done because you're pushing yourself up off the ground, but you're also catching yourself. Listen very carefully to how you're landing at the moment. If you can't hear yourself, that's perfect. This is one where you need to breathe out, take a deep breath back in, recover the heart rate. And starting again, wide, front, back. Well done. So making sure you're not landing heavily. It's catching quietly, which means you're working that muscle twice as much. All right, keep it light as you possibly can. Good work. Two, one. You're almost halfway there. It's a good feeling, isn't it? <laughs> Ready? We're away. That's the way. Sides, front, back, side. That's the way. When you're all jumping forward and you're leaning forward, notice how Vanessa has got her bottom pushing all the way back. So her back, when she's coming forward and touching the floor, is not rolled in between the shoulder blades there. You need to keep a nice flat back and sit right back into the glutes. Go, go. Sitting right back and down, squeezing the backside to come back up. That's the way. 
All right, you're in set four, people. Looking beautiful. It's beautiful is sweating. Yeah, it is. It is. It's positive. Getting your breath, push everything out. And then take a deep breath in. And that will help to fill your lungs a bit more. Getting ready. Wide, well done. After this one, you've only got one to go. So keep yourself moving. These have all been three minute sets. You've done a lot. We've done nine of those. That silence was me counting. Rest. Last set coming up. Okay, so this isn't the time to pull back, people. This isn't the time to not get up. Get ready. Keep your energy up. Stay focused. Finish line's there. Go. Nice and light. Don't just thump it through. Make sure you're catching yourself. This is the time to engage everything. Anything you've got left in the tank, let it go. Three, two, and one. No way. You did it. I reckon this is time for a cool down, don't you? We don't want to just stand still, so we might just do a little bit of stretching. We're just going to dynamically just do a couple of things because we don't just want to go from jumping to just standing still and letting blood pool. Nice and easy. Well done. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Sometimes, um, especially after you finish with something high intensity, you can feel a little bit sick. Um, that's not a bad thing, that doesn't mean you've caught anything. It means that you've worked at quite a high intensity and your body's saying, oh, you know what, I don't think we'll do anything but just do the exercise. If you feel a bit sick at all, just rest and uh, let your heart rate come back down. We might do these standing hamstring ones, they're a little bit dynamic as well. So what you want to do is stand, you're going to curl your fingers under your toes and stretch up through the hamstrings and just keep bouncing it up and down, just lightly of course. So we're just going to keep stretching. You did a lot of work through those areas today. So what we want to do is just keep stretching it all. Beautiful. The last thing you're going to want to do is eat. But you've got a window now of between 20 and 45 minutes where if you can get something into you, it's going to help you to recover. It's going to stop you overeating later on. It's going to make sure that your body's got all the nutrition in that you need to recover. So you want to be having something with protein and carbohydrates. You um, want to recover fast and, and you want to recover well. All right, coming on up. Um, you want to do, yeah, please. Knees together. Easier said than, do you want to lean on me? See, the never, girls never want help. Have you noticed that? I can do it myself. Love it. All right, and change. Hop is optional. If you can, you can always just grab a wall, grab a chair, grab anything at all if you want to, if you need some help to stabilise. Lifting up through your arch on your foot, and you just got to make sure you're nice and stable. Um, do you want to do um, your side one, or just do this little stretch in the thigh because you've done a little bit of work through there today. Nice and easy. What we want to do is try and give you a bit of a balanced workout so you're getting uh, all of your leg working, which is what I think we've done. I think we've done, we've done. All right, you want to do some glue? You want to use the wall and do the standing figure four? Sitting and sitting it back. There you go. That's it, keeping your knee out. These are really important to do just to keep your hips nice and uh, not so tight. And your glutes. There we go. Fantastic. Well, I think you would have all done a good job if you've seen that through. Um, you can vary that up, of course, by being weighted, not adding weights, going up and going down, um, doing it in your own time. You can split it up so that you have more rest in between the sets if you want to, if you need a little bit more recovery. Just remember to reduce them down. And we'll see you again next time. This has been Vanessa and Justine. Um, we're from Babes on the Run. Thanks for coming and visiting us. Thank you. See ya. See ya.